Look everybody, it's raining. It's a little bit chilly out there too. Wow, stayed here tonight. Shout out to um, Rocks of PA, they call it Rocks and um, Keystone and Ash. They call them Keystone, so Keystone and Rocks. Shout out to them, to them. they're basically um, letting me stay here and stuff. Real cool man, um, really good people, I mean, yeah really nice too they're really hospitable i mean when i they picked me up yesterday and and as soon as from the get as soon as i arrived they're just like they they were just really focused on me like you know do this if you want to like you know you don't have to do this you don't have to do that like it was really cool like um yeah and then we talked about the trail. It was really nice. And then what did we do? We watched a movie um, Into the Woods. I never knew they made a movie. Like, so we watched that. It was pretty decent. I'm not even going to lie. Like, it was it was pretty good. I mean, it was decent. It was nice seeing Georgia and stuff again. I was getting flashbacks. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But, um, yeah, Rox, uh, she went to work and stuff. Um, so today... Keystone said he's just gonna take me around um, Waynesboro, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, tomorrow is Mother's Day, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Today, I'm definitely just gonna relax, take a zero, just hang out with him too, you know? Um, yeah, he's a real good dude, you know? Real good people, for sure. But yeah, and he made pizza. It was legit pizza, dude. Like, <laughs> I told him too, this is like the best pizza I had so far on trail. And he made it in his oven and stuff. And he was talking about how um, if he let, if I let him know a couple of days ago, that he would have let the dough like ferment. Like that's what's, that's what makes the pizza crust so good. So I was just like, damn, you know. But I'm like it was legit like i'll leave a picture at the end but it was really really good dude so yeah i don't know what we're gonna do what time is it it's um it's eight o'clock right now so yeah for sure man um yeah no i don't edit much i just like the flow i don't know <laughs> I agree. I agree. <laughs> Hey, yo, I'm here with uh, Keystone. Keystone, say what up? What up? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do an interview with him later, but we're driving through Waynesboro right now. Sweet town. I can't wait. We're finally in PA. Let's go, yo. <laughs> oh, man. Look at these towns, bro. Yeah, let's see it, man. Let's see it. Mickey Dad, D's, Ooh, McDonald's, let's go, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I'm loving it. Ooh. This place is nice, man. The uh, downtown area really looks like a real official downtown, like with blocks and everything. It looks really oh, legit God. too. Like really like um, populated this area. That's for sure. Um, shout out to Keystone. He's gonna drive me around, show me this area. It's awesome, man. Let's go, man. Dude, look at that view. Dang. <laughs> that looks crazy. This is Ren Free Park. Ren Fru. Wow. The cops were just doing some training back there, guys. <laughs> This is Renfrew Park, very decent park. Even the other park, the uh, Penmar Park, that was pretty dope too. Wow, this is awesome. Look at this guys. <laughs> Historic farmhouse tours. Look at that. You know how I love fields, this is ridiculous. Oh man. Dude, the that's just beautiful. You know, right over the top of the mountain. Woo! That's lifting up off the mountain. That is cool, man. Uh, what a shot. Ooh. Look at this, guys. It's like a memorial. Look at this, guys. Cemetery. Wow. How's everything going on? <clears throat> hey, guys. I'm here with 
another trail ranger, but also a through hiker, a hiker. He wants to hike. All right, he wants to through hike. So his name is. I'm gonna introduce you. All right, here you go. Introduce yourself, sir. My name's Ash. Trail name is Keystone, and I'm from Waynesboro, Pennsylvania. Awesome. And I've been following Andrew on his hike, and and I've watched other people, but we've been really following him, and we we really enjoy it. He's inspired us to want to get out and do more of it. So. I thought I had a chance to host him and I reached out and so my wife and I are hosting him. Yeah, and I just want to say thank you for that. You seem like an awesome dude. Why don't you talk about, um, yeah, what caused you to the trail, bro? Well, let's just talk about that, man. Uh, I think humanity caused me to the trail is yeah. what I think. I think he called us because we're a part of it. Yeah. And, and that's what it is. It's just a longing and desire. If you've hiked, you know, I've hiked all my life locally, and, and I've hiked so much since since I was a child. So when you've done it like that, it calls you. I mean, when you're away from it, it, it it's always beckoning you to do it. Yeah, know? and what led you to this point? Uh, life. Life has led me to this point. You know, right. I've, I've had a, haven't had an easy life at times. So for me, it's led to this point, and, and it's recovery for me. You know, it really helps me to become a better person. Yeah, for sure. I know we talked about um, your struggles and stuff. And why don't you tell them how much you weighed before and how much you weigh now? Because that's well, just awesome, bro. I, I love I'm seeing that. I'm 150 pounds now. And I just, <laughs> at one time, my highest weight was 225 pounds. Woo! And so it's been a good while. I've, I've had this weight off of me now for a couple of years. But I carried that weight around for a long time. So like I was telling Andrew yesterday that... If I could carry 200 plus pounds around for nearly 15 years, yeah. I think I can pack 25 or 30 pounds on my back and carry because I'll still be <laughs> underweight. I'll still be under the weight I was then. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, dude. I love seeing people like that, bro. The transformation is just so life changing for well, sure. Here's the thing. I couldn't take that pack off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? People with packs on, they can take the pack off. It's, ah, oh, yeah. I couldn't take that pack off. I, I carried that thing with me for a long time. <laughs> oh, but it man. feels good to be back into it. I've worked really hard, exercise, watch my diet, control my weight, and stuff yeah. like that. And hiking has got me into it. So I've been training to get on the trail for five years. Yeah. And I'm hoping that I can get on there at 2022 is, is my desire to want to do it. Uh, I haven't really decided how I'm going to do it yet. I'm leaning towards a flip-flop of some sort. Yeah. Just because I like the way that works. Um, so we'll see how it goes, man. Yeah, you show me some of your gear. You seem like you're starting to dial in yeah. everything. And yeah. that's always good, man. Because like me, I just threw myself into it without practicing anything, you right. know. Right. And, and that's always so nice for you to just go out there and actually just hit the trail. Yeah. That's for sure. Yep. Yeah. Sure. um yeah man um well what's after this well after this just like i said for now i'm still preparing for the appalachian trail for me right now yeah. we're starting out section hiking we're going to section hike you know around our local area which i've hiked most of the local area anyway but we're going to start branching out and doing more serious hikes to just get our legs better and things like that so we wanted to that's what i want to try to do for the rainer this year just try to get a few more hikes in you know before next year and then go from there you know yeah for so, sure i realize i don't want to put any constraints on myself to say you know this is when i'm doing it exactly yeah. anything like that because i feel like i've been preparing for this for five years so mm. and like everything else i everything came together in its own time so i knew when and that's kind of how i feel when 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 that that's going to happen i'll know when it's going to happen you know what i mean it'll happen and i'll be ready for it yeah for sure and i know that um I feel like some some people do have struggles when they do hit the trail and stuff like that. Um, do you want to talk about some of your struggles yeah. that um, called you to the trail and that you just want to just work out and stuff like that? That helps Can you. Cut it just for a minute. And yeah. We just blocked the, uh, we just cut the uh, transmission there because uh, the dog Luke saw one of his friends. I thought they were fighting, but they but they were playing around. But um, that was crazy, yo. How long have you had that uh, dog? This dog I have had for five years, um, five and a half years. He is going to be uh, seven years old. I rescued him when he was a year and a half old at the oh, Antino Luke, Humane Luke. Society. So Luke, I've been in, I've so been in nice. five and a half, or a year and a half old. <laughs> this is a beautiful dog. Yeah, for sure. But what were we talking about? We were talking about, oh, yeah, some, some of the struggles. Yeah, let, yeah, let's get down to it. So... I know a lot of people do have struggles when they do hit the trail. Do you want to share anything that well, you would like to share about that, yeah. that, you, that you're battling out here? Yeah, I have PTSD, so I have, uh, I have, no, I have non-combat PTSD, so mine's not related to combat or any soldiers like that. But I can relate with a lot of the soldiers because I experience the same type of things that they do. 
So, you know, in treatment and stuff like that, you learn coping skills and stuff like that. So I think that's kind of what's eventually pushed me to wanting to do the whole trail because, mm. because of that. You know, I think it'd be nice to get out there and get the experience from that and help other people that have PTSD if possible. Yeah, for sure. And um, I know that on trail, I do run into a lot, a lot of military people. Yeah. And, you know, they are battling with um, a lot of stuff I could just tell sometimes that they're just fighting with all these demons you know yep. um, and, and they're trying to walk off the ptsd yeah you know, for the, sure and that's what um was his, uh the the guy that completed it the first time that's what he told everybody he's walking the war off you know earl schaefer yeah, yeah. Earl schaefer. And, and crazy and that's what it is i think a lot of people go out there and do that because they just with the increased anxiety from the ptsd you know they just feel they have to be in a perpetual motion and yeah. i think that's why the trail is very th therapeutic that way because they can keep moving and it helps them to feel better you know they they get those things released in, in the mind and in the brain, you know, that help them feel better. And it makes you feel a lot better. You feel like a different person when you're out there. Yeah, you know? do, do you feel the trail just brings out like um, it does. much more? It does. It does, for sure. It, it, it makes you feel better. I mean, it makes people better. And I think that's why there's such a, a huge increase in people wanting to get more and more outdoors. You know, people are starting to realize that now and the value of it needing to be out there. Yeah. You know? So hopefully the preservation is enough you know to keep things preserved so people can continue to enjoy this for years and years to come you know yeah and, uh, let's hope let's hope that's the case you know let's hope that the mass of people doesn't destroy it you know yeah for sure is there anybody you would like to thank uh just for me my lord and savior you know yeah, for me for i'm sure. a christian so i believe in that and that's what i like to thank you know for everything in my life yeah and also honestly um i just look forward to um you i mean we're definitely going to stay in contact yep. and i hope you do hit the trail i mean that's going to be awesome it's going to be life-changing for sure for sure man oh for man sure. maybe we can do a little hiking ourselves while you're through this area yeah together. for sure i just want to first say um thank you for your support you're and welcome. thank you for having me it just really does mean a lot i mean you reaching out yep. i mean it really does um touch us home so well, it's our pleasure, thanks man. man we're our pleasure andrew it, it really is and i think a lot of people from my point of view feel that way too you know because if we can reach out for a specific persons or whatever you know we feel like we're helping them and then the trail will help us out in the future you know yeah so, for sure just paying it forward that's it paying it forward but <laughs> yeah, yeah awesome all right thanks for this interview brother all right let's go peace peace <laughs> This is another very old park, too, man. Been around. Red Run and they have Park? It, yep, it's called Red Run. And they have a pavilion there where they have live music and stuff in the summertime. They actually have a big uh, Appalachian Trail Festival here every year, man. A lot of people. Oh, here. I think I saw yes. it on AWOL. Yep, they have it here. It's pretty big. Oh. Dang, you know, something going on. Maybe I'm just going to go down here and just drive it through the park. Nice. Look at this, guys. Damn. They got the Boy Scout troops out today. Everywhere. That was crazy. This yeah. <laughs> <laughs> privies sometimes they're open. I'm, I'm think they're open now. Look, guys, we just ran into some flip floppers. That's where I'm gonna come out of right there. Loop around left. Woo! This is called a kiosk. Keystone, just let me know. It's called a kiosk. And remember, horses <laughs> not permitted. Horses are not permitted. <laughs> <laughs> but bears are. Look. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Woo. I'm gonna come across this when I walk the AT, but look at this. They got the heart shaped doors. What in the world? What? Never even been here, <laughs> dude. First Division Cavalry Corps. Look at that picture. 
or something yeah. Yeah. dude that's beautiful why they're going over there it's a path you can take a little around to see the view where there's an enduring light to guide us in unity and fellowship It's like, it's like I'm hiking right now. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Look guys, haven't climbed the tower in a minute. <laughs> Whoa. What is that? One, two, two stories. Let's go. Virginia to her sons at Gettysburg. Wow. Virginia Memorial, General Robert E. Lee mounted on Traveler. The group represents various types who left civil occupations to join the Confederate Army. Left to right, a professional man, a mechanic, an artist, a boy, a businessman, a farmer, a youth. You guys remember Mount Kramer and the Smokies? Look. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the same amount. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Look guys, the stairs. <laughs> it literally looks just like Mount Cameron. <laughs> oh man, oh man, it's not icy though, right? And we can see the views today. Almost, brother. Almost. Woo! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, man. Look at that. Wow. Oh, yeah. Look at that up there. Holy cow. Look at that guys, about to get some views. This kind of reminds me of um, Grayson Highlands. Yeah. Whoa. 
Look at this, guys. Whoa. The state of New, New Hampshire erected this monument. Look, guys, they got horses just right here. Oh! Look at this white one. Dude. Dude, look at this horse. It's coming straight at me. Look at this horse, guys. It is huge. This is so crazy, guys. I know. I'm like shaking. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> when they oh look at you, that's like. Cow. You're a good boy, huh? Oh, cool, brother. Check this out, guys. Oh, there's a bunch of names on the bottom. Ooh. Check this out, guys. People could go all the way up top, too. 115th Infantry, 14th, 11th, 10th, 9th. This is all of Pennsylvania. What? They got all the names here. Holy cow. Wow, look at this. This is crazy. Ooh. In there. Oh, isn't that cool? It's like a dungeon. Yeah, man. Holy oh, cow. I love this. Oh, man. <laughs> what? Whoa. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a party. Look at this door. Oh, dude, look at this. Uh, this is some great views up here, guys. Look at that. Today's Mother's Day. Shout out to uh, my mom. Happy Mother's Day. Shout out to you. Yeah. Look at that. Shout out to Keystone and Rocks for bringing me all the way out to Gettysburg. Great day today, man. Great day. Taking my mind off the trail for sure. A lot of people are here too. Wow, it's just nice, man. That's for sure. Last night we just watched some movies and stuff. Like... <laughs> I totally like forgot about the trail, you know. It was just nice, man. It's just beautiful out here. The only um, thing that I saw at Gettysburg was um, Remember the Titans, that movie with Denzel. So it's just like real crazy to actually be here looking at this. I didn't know how like widespread and big this place was. It's awesome, honestly. Shout out to Keystone and Rocks for bringing me here. Shout out to you guys. Really nice, man. Gave my mind off the trail. Like, literally, I think. It's crazy. Mother's Day today. Ooh. Look, guys, it's the museum. They got cameras and stuff hidden. Whoa. Alright, came back from um, Gettysburg. Shout out to Keystone and Rocks. It was really a good time. Just calling my mother right now. Just here downtown about to get picked up soon um yeah today was good yo woke up this morning went over and uh ate some crackle apparel over in chambersburg that was what's up it was so delicious man um shout out to them for taking me out all the way to gettysburg that was awesome dude oh man those views were just awesome i definitely got to come back here and just check it out but um 
Yeah, today was a great day so far. Mother's Day for sure, so I definitely needed this. I definitely was not gonna hike today.